Hey everybody, Zeo Lightning returns with Let's Play Mega Man Unlimited for the PC, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last part, we fought Comet Woman. This time, we're going to be going to Jetto, Jetto, Jetto Man. Jetman stage is a really long stage. This stage is right. It's one of my least favorite stages, but I do like the music. It's also the return of the magic missile enemies, as BSL has dubbed them. Uh, there's two types of aircrafts. One that, sh one that uh, hovers above you that's red, and one that hovers above you that's blue. The red ones will drop a missile, two homing shot missiles, one before they pass you and one after they pass you. The blue ones will just bomb randomly. There's also these, uh... Uh, those uh, suitcase work uh, carrying guys. They are uh, th they're the bird carrying enemies of this game. If they get too close, they'll just uh, run away and with all uh, release the suitcase full of birds. I don't know what kind of uh, business you run with where you carry a lot of uh, uh, birds in a suitcase. But you can actually grind off those birds. Aw, I hate when that happens. An extra life goes in the pit. That happens way too often in Mega Man games, I swear. You wanna jump forward and jump backwards because there yeah, that'll be that there'll be that blue bombing plane. Can catch off a lot of people off guard. And completely missed that jump. Okay, back here. I have a feeling my bad jump is because of that guy, so let's kill him. And now we're going to be fighting a forklift. The way the forklift works is after it drops, it'll drop an explosive. Don't let the uh, don't let the luggage itself hit you. Because the luggage, lug, the luggage, the luggage itself does way more damage than it does, uh, way more damage to um, Mega Man normally than it does to, uh, than, than, than the explosion does. So we've now made it to the checkpoint of this stage. There's those walls that you have to explode there, but I'm not gonna blow them up now. I'll blow them up later. Besides, you need a you need a slightly different weapon for blowing up those both of them consecutively. Otherwise, it's kind of difficult to blow them up with the tank arsenal. There's an easier weapon for that. Yeah, I meant to. I didn't mean to climb back down. I just meant to duck so I can avoid this guy. Anyway, these conveyors uh, move in the opposite direction you're running. So if you're running uh, to the right, they move to the left, and vice versa. It's actually a really nice get neat, neat gimmick, and it's so Mega Man-ish, if that's a thing. Let's go up there and get all those goodies. Alright. Watch out for those explosions. Yeah, these magic missile enemies come out over here, too. So, uh, there was the health there, but I'm just gonna ignore it. There we go. Shit. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, these magic missile enemies go up really high. Yeah, there's another forklift enemy here. Back to the forklift guy. There we go. And 
shortly after that. There's the boss door. There we go. Uh, let's hope I can beat Jetto Man with just one life, although I extremely doubt it. Although his pattern is pretty predictable. slide under that attack. Or jump over him. I had to concentrate there, but yeah, he goes in a really predictable pattern. All you gotta do, um, he goes, uh, he shoot, he targets you or goes uh, across the screen dropping bombs. He'll come back down, he'll jump and shoot a missile, then he'll go back up and do it again. And it's really predictable, it just hurts like hell. But yeah, Jetman is weak to Comet Dash, but Comet Dash has a there's a, there's a catch. Comet Dash will only do enough damage to leave, uh, uh, if you, you have to hit him with the dash, uh, of Comet Dash, and it'll only leave, it'll only have enough, uh, weapon energy to leave him with exactly one health left. So you'll always have to shoot him afterwards. Yeah, it's not, uh, Comet Dash is not a, not a great offensive weapon, but it is a great, uh, uh, weapon for using for rebounding and stuff like that. Anyway cutscene. I ran a few more tests. I've never seen anything like this. It's some kind of com kind of virus is completely rewriting the program of those robots. So that's why they are so hostile. I've got to stop them. Be careful, Mega Man. The virus even seems to be transmitted by simply being in contact with the infected robots. That's odd. He has he's defeated four of them so far and still hasn't shown any sign of infection. That's quite interesting. We'll know more about this plot in the next part, so see you lightning over now. Catch you later, folks.